Closet apps or wardrobe managers are my jam. I love talking about them and recommending them to anyone who will listen. So what I'm talking about in today's video shouldn't come as a surprise to you. I've made videos in the past about my favorite wardrobe organizers, Starbook and Purepool, which I'll link in the cards if you haven't seen them yet. But today's video is all about Cladwell. Cladwell has been around since before 2015 when it was predominantly a men's personal shopping tool. I'm fairly sure I tried it out back when I was first looking for closet apps and found it to be a little underwhelming. Aaron and Colin Flynn took over the app in 2019 and have made some great changes and advances with the app since then. I'm back to give it another try because I feel like it's come a long way since then. Cladwell actually reached out to me to try the stylist's version of the app a few months ago. But at the time, I didn't want to invest in it. Them reaching out put the app back on my radar and made me want to try it again. So I signed up for the free seven day trial and I'm here ready to share with you what I think about it. I ended up using the app for a few weeks before writing my opinion and doing my 10 day challenge. I wanted to really get a feel for it and all that it could do before sharing my review with you. This video is not sponsored by the way, all the following opinions are completely my own and I'm going to be completely open and honest with you all with my thoughts. Gladwell is one of the only apps I've come across that actually has an overarching philosophy behind the app that isn't of a consumerist nature. They believe the most sustainable wardrobe is one where you love and wear the clothes you already own, a capsule wardrobe. The app has been made to help you work towards this goal of having a capsule wardrobe and to get the most wear out of the clothes you already have. But even if your goal isn't to have a capsule wardrobe, the app can still work well for you. Gladwell works on a subscription service model. It's $4.99 a month or $4.17 a month if you pay annually, which works out to about $50 a year. Apart from the seven day free trial, there is no free version. It's pay or nothing, which I'm not going to lie, sure adds up. If you choose to purchase this instead of purchasing more clothes, then there is a saving in money, but there's no guarantee that buying the app will ensure you won't buy any more clothes for the whole year. Something that's good to note is that it still keeps all your clothes and data in storage if you don't sign up after your free trial. So you can always go back in the future without losing anything. You don't need to enter any payment details when you sign up for the free trial, which is great. I hate having to remember to cancel something before my free trial renews and it automatically charges you. But that is not the case here, thankfully. Gladwell has five icon tabs down the bottom. Home, your closet, looks, shopping list, and style analytics. These are the main features you can use within the app. I'm going to go through what you can do in each of these tabs, and this should give you a very clear idea of how Cladwell works. The home tab is pretty basic. It gives you your next steps to work on for your wardrobe. Things like review your outfit, which in a Tinder swiping like fashion, you can swipe left or right for some randomly generated outfits that it comes up with so that the app can start to learn your style. Then you have find your cost per wear, which helps you input the price of each item in your closet so that you guessed it, your cost per wear can be tracked over time. Review your items allows you to rate each piece in your closet out of four hearts so that the app can generate better outfit recommendations using the pieces that you love. Each of these next steps only takes you through 30 pieces or looks each day so that it's not too overwhelming and you can build on it over time. The Your Closet tab is what you'd expect, a place to see all the clothing items in your closet. At the bottom on the left, you can toggle between different view options. You can either scroll left to see the items in each category or scroll down. I find this very useful to toggle between. The first is a good option if you're wanting to see an overview of your entire wardrobe, whereas the second is good if you're looking for a specific piece within a category. At the top in the middle, there is a drop down menu that shows you all your different capsule wardrobes that you can create, 
like office first casual or one for each season. It's up to you what kind of capsule wardrobes you want to create. To add your clothing into your closet, you can either go to the plus icon at the top right or the plus icon at the end of each category. If you have photos on hand of your clothing pieces, you can add custom pieces from your camera and enter in all the details of what the piece looks like. Or you can search through Cladwell's extensive clothing catalog to find pieces that are similar to the pieces that you own. This can be a good fast option, especially for all your basics. If your pieces are a little unique though, it's best to add your own photos. Cladwell has only recently added a section for accessories, which was highly requested and an excellent addition. At the moment, all the accessories are lumped together, so it can be a little bit tricky to find what you are after. Top right, there is a box icon which shows you the clothing pieces you have in storage. This is a good first step before you remove something from your wardrobe. You can test out not having it available to you and see if you miss it. You can always bring it back out of storage, but you may find that you're happy to donate it. You could also use this for out of season clothing. Within each clothing item, you can name it, rate the fit, the quality, and your love of it. Enter the price and the brand, as well as see clothing possibilities with that piece. I love this feature if you love the piece of clothing, but are struggling to style outfits with it. You can also see which capsule wardrobes it's in. In the outfits tab, you can scroll through outfit suggestions for your day that are expertly styled from the clothing pieces already in your closet that are also personalized for your weather and activities. Within your profile, you can set the location so that your app will display outfits that are suitable for the weather of the day. It also displays the max and minimum temperatures and the forecast for the day in the top left. You can favorite outfits you like by pressing the heart in the bottom right corner. If you find one that's not quite right, you can edit it or you can simply just choose your own outfit for the day. You can also schedule outfits in advance by changing the day at the top. After using Starbook, I find the interface a little strange in that you can't see the whole calendar of outfits that you have come up with. You can make your own outfit from scratch by pressing the plus icon in the top left. But it doesn't automatically add it to the day, which I find funny. The outfits the app suggests do usually look quite cohesive, like there is a styling algorithm that has been thought out really well. It doesn't include your accessories in the outfit suggestions though. You can add them in later once you have chosen your outfit for the day. I have found that the outfit suggestions can be quite safe and maybe even a little boring though. Maybe that's just how it starts off though before it really gets to learn your style. Can anyone comment on that who's been using Cladwell for a while? I've also found that it won't style some of the trickier items at all. It definitely gravitates to the basics which are most likely to be found in a capsule wardrobe. In the shopping list, you can add items that you're thinking about buying to your shopping list so that your purchases can be more thought out and intentional. Again, you can go through Cladwell's catalog of images, or you can add an image yourself if you have a specific item in mind. You can then test out the versatility of the items in outfits with pieces from your own wardrobe before you buy them. This is a very handy feature, which I haven't seen in this form in another app. Cladwell have a style quiz that you can take to help clarify your style direction. It includes questions about your location, aesthetic, favorite shoe styles, whether you prioritize style or comfort, and lots more. It doesn't take too long to complete though, like five minutes I'd say. I loved that there were photos of women of various sizes and ethnicities as the answers within the quiz. The results of that quiz are displayed at the top of your style analytics. As you can see, mine are chic or chic, elevated, creative. The first word is your theme. It encompasses your style's personality and overall way of life in relation to the colors, patterns, and tone of your wardrobe. It's best described by a place and a general aesthetic. The second word is your dress code. It suggests how formal your outfits should be based on your lifestyle and activities. And the third word is your preference. It determines what type of clothing items and silhouettes that you are typically drawn to. This is a clear and concise way to keep your wardrobe cohesive and working towards a style that you love. 
Under that, it shows the percentage of your closet that you wear. This is another great feature that I haven't seen in this form in other wardrobe managers. The average person only wears 20% of their closet. So this stat encourages you to wear all of your clothes. Within Style Analytics, it also has your total items, unworn items, total worth of your capsule and your average item cost. I haven't put in all the items from my wardrobe because it definitely is time consuming. And I wanted to be sure that I would continue using the app before I dedicated that amount of time to it. The items I have put in don't all have prices attached to them either. So my capsule worth isn't accurate. Below all that, there are little pie charts to show you all the colors, patterns, necklines, and sleeve lengths that you own versus what you wear, as well as your top item types. At the top, you can switch between your different capsules and get the different stats for each of them too. If you're looking for even more help getting your wardrobe under control, they also offer a six week guided capsule wardrobe program to help you move towards a smaller wardrobe and a bigger life. This is $19.99 a month for a year and also covers the cost of the app. Through the program, you'll receive a custom ideal closet size, recommended signature items, and a detailed style assessment for your habits, body type, colors, and personal style. If you're interested in me trialing that out for you guys and sharing my experience, I might be persuaded. Let me know. Now that you have a good idea of how the app works in theory, we move to the practical application of using the app. And to do that, I have decided to take on the 10 day challenge. This is a challenge that Cloudwell itself sets out, which is basically just to let Cloudwell style you for 10 days. My self-appointed rules for this challenge are that for the first five days, I'm going to use the first outfit that it suggests for me. And then for the next five days, I'm going to allow myself to scroll through the outfit suggestions and pick one that I like. For my work days, I'll go into the office capsule that I have created and I'll go into the casual capsule wardrobe for all the other days. So I shouldn't have to worry about anything being inappropriate. Since it doesn't suggest accessories, I will just accessorize the outfits how I see fit. I think that's all that needs saying, so let's get on to day one. This outfit wasn't a bad way to start. It's not something I ever would have paired together, but I don't mind it. I accessorized with a choker necklace and pink ball earrings to match the flats. I did get a little warm up top with the long sleeve shirt, but mostly didn't think about the outfit much throughout the day. I kind of regretted putting this skirt in my casual capsule as it wasn't the most practical for my Tuesday with Naomi. I accessorized with cream rose studs and a polka dot headscarf, which I really feel helped the outfit look more intentional and exciting. Before the accessories, I wasn't really feeling the outfit, so it just goes to show how much of a difference they can make. My first work outfit and it came up with jeans, which I found funny. The outfit didn't look particularly officey to me and yet all the pieces could be appropriate for my work. The boots didn't really go well with the length of the jeans though. I tried cuffing them to see if that helped and I just didn't like it either way. For this outfit, I paired it with yellow hoops, a black crossbody bag and my pink suede jacket, which I realize is a clothing piece, but I get freezing at work, okay? I needed some kind of outerwear and it never seemed to suggest warm enough outfits for me at work. This was a very basic outfit with an all black base and tan heeled shooties, but this was one of my favorites, especially after I accessorized. It may have been cheating a little though, as again, I added an outerwear piece to prevent myself from freezing in the aircon at work and the pleated trench coat, which I added kind of made the outfit. I also added a thick gold chain necklace, a tan handbag to match the shoes and small gold hoops from my academia mystery box. Another all neutral outfit and I'm pretty sure I have worn something like this combo before. So I guess that means it's a good outfit suggestion. For accessorizing, I added my normal work handbag, some pearl drop earrings and a basic black blazer for warmth once again. Okay, but nothing to write home about. Back 
to more casual wear and for the first day I could actually scroll and pick my outfit from the options suggested, I ended up picking this very plain outfit, which again was very boring until I accessorized. The reason I picked this one was because this was a new top I thrifted and hadn't worn yet. I added a layered rose gold necklace, pink plaid headband and colorful statement earrings and suddenly it's actually really cute. If nothing else, this challenge has improved my accessorizing game. Another really short tight skirt for hanging with Naomi. Kind of funny that this is the one I chose when it's not that practical, but I'm feeling like I just don't have a good occasion to wear my short tight skirts anymore. Another pretty good outfit, the top was a little short for tucking in the skirt, but I think that's because it's shrunk in the wash, sadly. I added red geometrical hoops and a long black crystal sweater chain necklace for the accessories for this one. Today's outfit was a nice simple outfit that worked well for my casual day. I just added some gold hoops and it served me well. Shorts and slides are often my go-to for when I'm home with Naomi. Back in the office and I chose this combo which actually included a blazer this time and the suggested look. I accessorized with a tan bag, gold layered chain necklace and black stud earrings. An okay outfit, but I'm not really sure the boots really go with the dress though. My last outfit, and it's another all neutral outfit. I did tend to notice that is the majority of what they suggested. I added silver hoops and a leopard print clutch. I wouldn't tend to pair these boots with these pants being the same color. I don't like things too matchy matchy, but I know keeping your shoes and pants the same color elongates your legs. I don't think they quite worked together though. I wasn't a big fan of any of the outfits that it suggested for me. Even for the last five days where I got to scroll through and picked one I like, I wasn't really finding anything that I liked too much. They were okay, but just a little boring. And I think all of the interest came from like the accessories. <laughs> It definitely seems to prefer all the neutral colors, which I'm also a fan of, but it's something to note if you like color. I did start to note that as I used specific pieces, it did start to use those same pieces in the suggested outfits more often. It makes sense that if it knows you like to wear that item, that it would suggest it to you more often. But at the same time, if the goal is to wear more of your wardrobe, that's hard to do if it keeps suggesting items that you already wear. It would be more helpful to me to suggest pieces that I haven't worn. Some other things that I noted down as I was using the app, you can't add more than one outfit to the day. If you wear something during the day and then change and go out at night in a different outfit, you can only record and plan for one. Same thing if you wear two different pairs of shoes in the one day. There is only those four slots to add pieces for an outfit, so that doesn't allow for much layering. One day I tried to add an outfit with a turtleneck, sweater and blazer, and there just wasn't space for it. Although I have recently figured out that you can add shoes and clothing pieces to the accessories section. You just have to cross out of the accessories category in the top search bar, and then you can look through all of your wardrobe and you can add extra pieces in that way. Those negatives aside, it is really addicting trying to wear more and more of your closet so that you can get the percentage of your closet worn up. I also really appreciated the next steps portion so that you could slowly add in all of the data without getting overwhelmed. I do think it's a very well-made app with a great algorithm for suggesting outfits. The best that I have come across. There are improvements that I would like to see made though. It doesn't have some of the features I like that Starbook does have. And the ongoing fee to pay for it is not ideal. So taking all of that into consideration, 
style book will still be my main go-to closet organizing app. If a comparison video between Cladwell and the other closet apps would be helpful to you, like I did with Starbook and Purepool, let me know. I might be able to get onto that for you in future videos. If you want to know more about those other closet apps, then continue watching.